The Disney adult problem. Disney adults are horrifying, horrifying creatures. I didn't even think I was going to talk about Disney adults, right? Everybody kind of knows. It's in the ethos. It's in the galaxy. It's in the air. People, if you're over like 30 years old, I, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. I, I dare I even say 25 and you are like religiously, you're like a big Disney fan and you like going to Disney World and that's your favorite thing ever. It's creepy. Okay. There's no other way to say it. I don't know. It's like, it's, this isn't me even me. I don't, okay. I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's creepy, right? I think it's just like an attachment to a childhood thing, right? Like a Disney adult being obsessed with Disney is just an attachment to some form of their childhood self. I don't think it's creepy. I like Disney movies, but I'm not going to wear Mickey ears and go to Disney 20, 30, 23 times a year, right? But like I'll still watch Wally. I'm still I'll still watch Up. You know, I'll even watch The Lion King. It is me saying it, but it's mostly, it's just, it's become a part of culture within itself. Last night, I was streaming on my Twitch, which I- Yo, I'm watching Wally tonight, sort of- God, I'm watching Wally tonight. I gotta write that down. I guarantee you I won't watch it tonight, but I've been wanting to watch Wally. This is a plug, <gasps> sorry. And I was thinking about going to Disney World soon, just to check it out. I have never been, and I wanted to see the- craze and the mania and i stumbled across this youtube channel where this guy goes to disney world he goes to other places too but this guy goes to disney world a lot and i just got to click on one of his videos and experience one of the many wonders of somebody being in complete awe childlike wonder of being in a place like disneyland so i just i had to share it with you guys this is it's a lot to take in so good luck and god bless i also want to reiterate i do i'm not the nicest guy in this video it's i never understand okay yeah no like i you know do whatever the f you want but i never understand proposals at disney right i understand if if two partners are into disney and they love disney having something disney related in their proposal whatever the fuck they want to do right it's your life it's your proposal it's your marriage it's whatever the fuck you got you whatever the fuck you're into right but getting married or proposing in disneyland or disney world when it's fucking 105 degrees outside and you got the fucking Mickey ears on and you smell like fucking shit because your BO is fucking reeking because your deodorant just doesn't start work. It just stops working after five minutes because it's so fucking wet and hot outside. And there's just a bunch of crying children, some kid throwing up on the ground and all this other fucking bullshit going on. Mickey's probably like, uh, dancing around. Mickey wants to die because it's 110 degrees outside and he's wearing a fucking 40 pound suit. But he has to act happy. And he also has to wear employee underwear. This is me on my stream, just bullshitting around. I in no way endorse going out and Joe like has experience? Yeah, because I went to Disney my freshman year in high school. And I it was it was okay, right? But I in all honesty, if I never go to Disney again, I don't care. The only reason I want to go to Disney, and I know motherfuckers are gonna call me an alcoholic for this. I, the only reason I want to go to Disney is because me and my friends want to go to Epcot and do the drink around the world thing, where you just get one drink at every country. That's all I want to do. I don't give a fuck about Magic Kingdom. I don't give a fuck about Animal Kingdom. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I'm trying to go to Disney World. I'm trying to go to Epcot. I'm trying to have one drink at every fucking place, and I'm trying to go home. Maybe get in a fist fight with Goofy, right? Target one of the fucking people. Just, just fucking roundhouse him. Get banned from Disney. Of shit. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you. Don't be rude to this guy. I just thought it was a funny video to share with you. It has really nothing to, to reflect on him, but the Disney adult stuff does make me cringe. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. All right, I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad fucking person. Don't be like me. Uh, but enjoy the video. Sad old man makes fun of guy for being happy. Any future projects with Noel or just a podcast? Whenever I'm in LA next week, I'm going to try to go to Disney World with him. Really get to know him better. I feel like if you're going to get to know somebody, you'd want to go to Disney World with him, right? Oh, I yeah. love watching people do the, uh, doing like a vlog. This, this just stand in line, stand in line for 10 fucking hours to just get on, you know, the most mid ride you've ever been on. Oh, but rock, oh, but rock and roller coasters actually pretty fucking fire, Joe. Ah, uh, well, I think you've never been on Space Mountain. I have. I have. I've been on Rock and Roller Coaster. I've been on Space Mountain, right? You know what's better than any of those rides? Any fucking ride at Six Flags. Any ride at any Six Flags you've ever been to is better than the best ride at Disney World. Well, the music at Rock and, you know, it's in the dark. Rock and Roller Coaster is actually in the dark and there's rock music playing. 
Oh, really? Fucking go on any... Go on the worst ride at Disney... Not at Disney. Go on the worst ride at Six Flags Great Adventure. And you'll have a more fun time. Right? And the line's shorter. Oh, Disney World. The wonderful place of happiness. Everybody's so... So glad to be there. Oh, what a great business. Why are they charging you fucking $750 for a fucking day pass and all this other bullshit to get a fucking fast pass? And for you to be able to jump parks, you actually have to spend more money. So going to Disney World for about, you know, fucking three days is the same price about going to the fucking Bahamas for fucking a week. Would I rather go to the Bahamas or would I rather go to Disney World for fucking four days? Good call. Spider-Man roams. <laughs> Spider-Man roams the streets here with us mortals? This is unbelievable. <laughs> What? What you're looking at? Three trees in an in industrial Anaheim, California. This is. Oh my God! He went to Disneyland. That's even worse. Disney World is the better one. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure Disney World is the one that's like everybody like raves about. That's where I went. I thought Disneyland is like the shitty version. Day of my life. Already, this is making me not want to go to Disney. Disney land or view from the howard johnson anaheim you have no idea oh, they're not even staying on the resort how hard it is to get the seventh floor fucking tickets here out of the howard jones hotel in anaheim california we can see traffic and i can see some rooftops in disney park they kind of spoiled us here but holy with what i live in a sewer in mississippi i have never been to a more beautiful spot in my life this is unbelievable oh, the Bro's acting like it's not just like kind of a better version of a holiday in. They really spoiled us here. Bro's on a fucking four by two balcony with no chairs. Monorail. Look, 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 look. Oh my god, it's Mickey! Public transportation! Oh my god! I just can't even believe it. If you're wondering what that noise is. Wait, if you're. If you're wondering what that noise is, it is the uh, extremely loud freeway uh, right next to me in the Howard Jones Hotel. Super loud at 6.30 in the morning. That's what that is. Shout out to the Howard Johnson. Shout out Howard Johnson, dude. I mean, look at that setup, dude. Two queen-size beds. Uh, Andy Warhol uh, Walmart poster on the wall. I took six showers this morning and threw my shit all over the place. I could have tidied up the room a little bit while I was vlogging just to make it look a little more serene. But I'm just going to leave my underwear right next to the toilet. A little bit worried about the 100th tomorrow because if it's windy they don't do fireworks swear to god you get me going to the howard johnson hotel in fucking disneyland i'm opening the door and i'm turning the ac down to fucking 62 degrees i'm getting my money's worth that that ac bill from my room is gonna be more than i fucking paid to be there i'm fucking opening that door i'm turning the ac on you know i'll let the sink run i'll let the sink run i ain't gotta pay for that shit if they don't do fireworks tomorrow i'm gonna kill myself I want to put that on record. Crossing our fingers on that one. Oh my God, is that the gates of heaven? Holy shit. A hundred years of monopolizing a film industry. Guys, just in time for the hundredth celebration, I don't think I've ever caught Disney updating the concrete live. Oh my God, he's that happy about the concrete update. Oh my God. People, they're updating the concrete live now. Wrap your head around that. I don't think I've ever seen Disney once update the concrete in person. I mean, these workers who are doing minimum wage work, they're out here really early before we even got here. I'm going to look at them like they're fucking animals in a cage. I can't believe that they're putting paint over the pavement. This is this is amazing, man. Dude, Whoa. this is a milestone. This is a huge I milestone. Am, there's the 100th monorail again. Who cares about the monorail? Obviously, the colors for the 100th anniversary is like purple, silver. Kind of reminds me of an era when I grew up, uh, Justin Bieber. Yeah, that's why everyone's a Disney adult. Era, you know, all the purple. Because it's nostalgia. That's what it is. It's it, Disney adults are getting scammed by Disney by the fucking by sh by the nostalgia that's getting fucking shoved down their fucking throat, right? Oh, you remember this from when you were ten? Oh, you remember this fucking ride? Oh, only $70 for a fucking pin of Goofy. You fucking love Goofy, don't you? Hey, babe, did you hear the Justin Bieber comment on the video that I made? Babe? Oh, fucking bitch never watches my fucking videos. I've never seen someone... See, I, I, what I'm jealous of is I will never feel this kind of excitement for just the most mundane... Oh, yeah, no, I wish I... Like, in all honesty, yeah, being that happy about, like, the smallest things, I feel like makes your life just amazing, right? Like, I'm never going to Disneyland, and I'm being astonished by, like, this plaque that they put up. 
things. Like oh. spending 10 minutes there. Oh, oh we're so fucking sorry. way. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a huge plastic sign that says 100 years of wonder. I mean, guys, 100 years. Can we just go ahead and honestly, once again, Howard Johnson, thank you so much for just hooking me up. I, I just, I can't believe it. So this is my favorite character, Lightning McQueen. Um, I once touched myself in a movie theater watching it. What the fuck was he talking about? I want to go to Disney World now and just do a, uh, like a character. And I do a fake vlog and I'm just looking at everything that is absolutely mundane and being like, oh, this is literally probably the best day of my life. This is seriously the best day ever. Now, there's been lots of controversies with these online. I got to ask you guys, does this look 3D printed to you? Who cares? It's the same thing you've been seeing every day. It is really, it's just a bigger, it's just a bigger plaque. Dude. On the threads online, there's a lot of controversy that if these are 3D printed, which if this is an actual silver, how are we going to fend off the werewolves that come in here at 8 p.m.? I don't know, leave your guys' comments down below. <laughs> yeah, guy's like, all right, thank God. What's up, man? He's yeah. in a fucking sweatshirt. How hot do you think it is there? A uh, huge Howard Johnson enthusiast as well. I do think it's 3D printed and I actually canceled my trip in two months because I'm not going to stand for this anymore oh my goodness disneyland oh my god i fucking love this guy papa meat he's selling drugs goofy's just showed how to, a little girl how to do meth that's the best day ever honestly best day not sure if you guys can hear uh, the area music but we've got <laughs> Why I'm is he dying? I'm not sure if the loud Chinese music is that is playing over the speakers, if it's really picking up in my Canon DSLR, but it's very, it's like hip hop influenced, I'm pretty sure. It's very sweet. Basically like, you know, Chinese music. So that's Mickey dressed as a Chinaman, which um, is pretty cool. I personally wouldn't have been that distasteful with Mickey, but that's just me. Uh, like I said, guys, I don't really fuck with this stuff. I'm, I'm just kind of waiting for Avengers Campus to open. Juan music. It's beautiful. Beautiful time. Did you say it's Milan music? I wonder how true that is. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually even Mulan. He's Dude, like, like, they try to get this vibe of like a wonderful, magical area, and then there's just hordes of fucking people. At Disneyland or Disney World, just hordes of fucking people. Some dude drenched in sweat, throating a fucking foot long corn dog. Like, I'm not gonna be able to take in the scenery and the fucking music of Mulan if there's just some guy with a Mickey hat with fucking shit all over his face, just I'm fucking eating a turkey leg as he's walking to the next ride. Like, definitely from the move on soundtrack, I'm pretty sure is it sounds like something that would be in that. I'm so eerie to see this. It's probably going to be like a food court. They probably, since this is the Chinese Asia area or whatever, I didn't really look into it. They're probably going to put like a couple Panda Expresses over here, I imagine. Probably. I didn't look into it. This is my least favorite part of the park. Holy cow, guys. Just got hit with a bombshell. A, um... <laughs> Uh oh. You guys have no idea what's going on, but something kind of just happened. Oh my god, with... he's talking like somebody died. What I'm. My dad was actually struck by a diesel, <laughs> and he uh, he's gonna be paraplegic for the rest of his life. Oh god. We'll have a video on it coming soon because I don't really know what's gonna happen. I thought it was done and over with, but something big just happened. <laughs> Not as big, though, as heading on into Avengers Campus. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Why would you include what that? did he just say that something bad and big happened and then just glances over it? Something that the core battles, I thought I was over and clear, but apparently they said they found more semen samples. Uh, so I think a whole can of worms just got reopened. So we'll see. All right, guys, but not as cool as going to Avengers Campus, right? Avengers Assemble. I, I mean, we got to see what the update is, right? Later on. Welcome to Avengers Campus, and it's very nice to come here in the morning. Do you guys think that's 3D printed or? It's so much more enjoyable. You don't have god the music is so loud have any of you guys been to this before the music seems so loud right there doesn't it now i found the attachments oh and they have so many shops i don't know about disneyland but disney world dude it's like every three feet there's just 40 dollar items that you can fucking buy look 34.99 and uh oh my god uh, you have how to how much how much how much 
Repulsor, $24.99. Mystic Amplifier, $24.99. What the fuck even are these things? Get this one first. And this one's going to allow you to shoot three webs. What? And uh, it's $34. Dude, I'm... Oh! Uh, 34 pre-tax imagine being in this fucking store like working in the store and you hear the avengers theme song all day every day can you fucking actually fathom that what is this too i had a friend that would steal pins from disneyland or disney world he has like 30 of them and i was like dude how do they not catch you he was like he was like one of my friends was talking to the worker i just pocketed 30 pins and left i was like wow I was like, you could have gotten arrested for that. Like, that's like hundreds of dollars of pins. He's like, yeah, I know. What are pins? Like, Disney pins. And they're expensive as shit. And, like, they're collector's items. And they have ones that, like, if you get married, you get, like, a free one. That's like, get, you're getting married at Disney or some shit. People rave over that. Slingers for so a ride? on fun mode, basically, when you're not inside Web Slingers. Okay, so this is what... All right, guys, um, sorry, I accidentally showed a different product that actually wasn't <laughs> supposed to, that wasn't actually supposed to be in the video. I apologize. Holy shit, dude. What? We have this on fun mode, basically. We have it fun on mode. Fun. Okay, Holy so is, what, shit. Wakanda forever, right, guys? What are those people in Wakanda doing out there? Damn. Okay, that was fun and all, but I don't know. I have a hard time buying that. Just because, you know. <laughs> Listen, the technology is cool. Can you explain why you didn't want to buy and everything? It? And I did spend $55 on the Genie Pass, but I'm kind of having a hard time wrapping my head around $25 for the Web Slinger, all right? I'm not here all the time. Maybe I was here all the time. Try not here play. all the time. What are you talking about? You were just talking about how you were here like last week. What in God's name is that? What the fuck is this over here? Is that a drop? Is that one of the drop rides where they bring you up and then they just release you? It kind of looks like the Tower of Terror here that's actually the scientology's fun center the scientologists all get to go in there there's no windows or anything but it is ac it is climate controlled which is pretty nice oh that's the guardians ride this is a, just a whole ride holy shit what's up spidey it's the guardians the drive drop uh guardians of the galaxy drop ride yeah too much yeah i just on patrol you need anything what's up i'm the king of new york oh wait no that's miles morales <laughs> what's up man you need anything i'm here for you my god he probably feels like such a dumbass you want to flake man oh bad enemies i'm good i'm good though okay sounds good Spider-Man. <laughs> side note this is a 37 year old man the hulk is no longer here big sad he left in october what the heck Big sad. Oh, God, he's there alone. Oh, like, I, dude, I feel like I wouldn't enjoy that. Like, if I'm going, like, yo, have y'all ever been to, like, Six Flags alone? I feel like that would fucking suck. And people are going to look at you and, like, yo, if you don't care, good shit on you, man. But, like, if I went to, like, Six Flags alone and then you're sitting a solo ride, people are going to be staring at you like, dude, what the fuck? Number one, you're fucking up the seat configuration because now people have to, like, sit next to you because you're a rando, right, rather than, like, a 2-2. Two -two. It's always, like, four or, like, two, right? Now you're one, and then they're going to have to shove another one. Over. <laughs> I'm, I'm fast-forwarding. He's just watching this man in slow-mo. I'm getting unusual pre-flight readings. No. Testing postponed. No. Proceed to ground level. Shut the fuck up, dude. No, Spider-Man, stop. Come on, baby. Woo! Most fucking annoying guy. No one else is like screaming. We did it. Stark. Oh my God. Stark. Tony Stark. Wakanda forever, baby. The way he said that, it, it could, it definitely could come across like a, uh, like a cat call, couldn't it? God damn, Wakanda forever, baby. Fuck. Holy shit. Woo! Damn. Wakanda forever, baby. God damn. Hey, why don't you look at this panther right here, bitch? Hey, look at me. I got the genie plus pass. Ow! That was not part of the plan. Oh, God, that's such a bad rocket, too. Like, you can't really make rocket look normal. He looks like chubby. See, the animatronic's dope. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Bad! 
worst day ever. All the kids on the ride are like, no, but the Disney workers too are such fucking stooges, man. I remember going on the Tower of Terror when I was a freshman and everybody did this for the photo. And they they stopped the ride right before it dropped, lowered it, and then kicked us off. Like, swear to God, kicked us off the ride. Like, they were like, no, we're not doing this. And then they were like adamantly apologizing to the families that were on with us. I was like, dude, really? I was like, I'm not allowed to fucking put the shirt over my head for the fucking photo. Like, it's that serious. Gamora! Gamora, say my name! Would you look at this? Oh my god, general construction! Look at all these people working love, regular jobs, and I get to be on vacation. God, they're gross. Look at this old guard here. Oh, oh god. That. Oh, oh fuck. Let's see. <laughs> Looks like he's and I'll on your screen right now. Down. Henry. Wow, man. <laughs> that, that was honestly an adventure. I, but there is one part of the video where he has like groundbreaking news. Like he stops the vlog entirely. And he talks about like how he was wronged or something. I mean, we have to see what it is, right? This is five months ago. Surely there's an update on it. Damn, dude, he uploads a lot. Holy shit. He uploads daily. God damn, dude. He, he lost his house? What? Today's the story on how I lost my house in quite literally the final stage you could ever lose a house. I don't give a shit. I just want to see the. What oh my god! Happens when you celebrate a century of the most mad. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna lose my house. No, I don't give a fuck. I just wanted to see what it was. Magical company on Earth. Kicks <laughs> the most magical today. company on Earth. It's, it's not just the Disney parks, it's everything. Is this train station from a movie? It's not. I'm almost positive Michael Jackson has this exact same train station at his house. I just watched that documentary, Leaving Neverland, whatever. The I'm almost positive that he has that exact air. train station. Degrees. I wonder if they have John Landis wow. in there and him giving his, his his coveted hugs. Him trying to like squeeze girls' asses and stuff while while working on cars. John Lassender's uh, first Hawaiian t-shirt. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just have it in a fucking case. Thing here. Ads. That's a fucking horrifying dumpy or where the fuck that stupid ass elephant's called. Oh my god. Look, it's Mickey in his new outfit. Holy cow. Good old oh. Mick. Happy 100th, Mickey. Dude, and you already know, like, do you think the person in there is having a good time? I think, like, the people that work at Disney are either, like, this person's such an adamant Disney fan or they fucking hate their life. Didn't expect to see that right away, but we also got- What do you mean? You're in Disneyland. You're by the entrance of Disney World. Why would you not think that Mickey Mouse wouldn't fucking be there? Good old Mick. Mick, say my name. The guy inside's like, dude, can you just please leave me alone? Your new platinum suit's so sick, Mick. All right, I'll catch you next time. God, good guy. Good guy, man. Chip and Dale are just wandering. They're coming to us. <laughs> what else would but they be doing, dude? It all started with oh my God, mouse. Chip and Dale's are walking. See, oh my God. How do we know that statue mouse. isn't 3D printed? Guys, I'm wondering actually some conspiracy stuff. Is this 3D printed or is this real? I don't know. No fucking way he went to Disney to do this. <laughs> you gotta let me know. Comment down below you guys' opinions. Tell them. Oh my gosh, I'm getting, I'm getting chills. I can officially. Uh, guys, is this, uh, is this actually, uh, like, formulated out of metal, or is this just some, some sort of plastic 3D print? Actually buy things. Okay, I'm ready. Ear to ear grin right now, guys. God damn, it's so loud. Oh my god, dude, and the people that fucking, like, are in awe at the fucking, at, I don't even know if this is, this looks like Magic Kingdom, unless this is Disneyland. Uh, but at Disney World, at Magic Kingdom, everybody was just in awe at all the fucking buildings. I remember I had a tour. At one point, and they were like, uh, little fun fact, uh, all the flags, all the American flags here on Front Street actually aren't American flags. They either have one more star, one less star, one more stripe, or one less stripe because you're legally not allowed to fly them like that. And I said, oh, whoopee fucking do, dude. How cool is that? Wow. The fucking flags aren't real American flags, bro. Wow, they have one more star. It's like I can barely fucking see the thing because it's fucking 45 feet in the air. Envisioned God damn, it's so loud. Imagine you're just like walking around all day and it's just like this. Walt Disney is God. You are his lamb. Now, go and...
into any given store and consume products as soon as you possibly can. If you think something is 3D printed... Oh, see, now this is Disneyland because the, the castle sucks. You will get shot in the face. Have a magical day. Are you crying? Yeah, you are. Are you crying? Are you fucking crying? Go to the fucking bathroom and clean yourself up, you you stupid- Audio jungle. Get your fucking ass- If anybody is seen crying on the front lot by the gate, you will be asked to leave. What the fuck did I just say? Just get, get in there! Go! Happy, Happy 100! 100! Happy 100. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like- Why do you put the camera- Why would you leave the him putting his camera down? Look how angry he looks right here. So as he's putting it down- <laughs> As he's putting it down, he's just like- why the fuck would you fuck up the shot like that? Like you were overpowering my voice. Honestly, dude, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> it's like all the cameras all the way down there. <laughs> that poor fucking horse, dude. How magical. They get to have that horse all day for 12 hours. That's really fun. A hundred more years, please. Yeah. Ashley, she watches the vlogs. Yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you so much. And she actually has both. Earth. And I'm convincing her to give me them right now. Right, Ashley? He's holding the camera up to her face, right, Ashley? You're gonna give me that right now, right? So I don't have to wait in line, Ashley, right? Fucking give me it. No pressure at all, but you watch my stuff, right? So you time to pay back, right? This amazing Mickey sipper. Oh, wow, that's and awesome. This tumbler right You mind here. if I touch all of this, I Ashley? Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks. Thank of course, we- <laughs> Can I get a goodbye kiss, Ashley? My girlfriend is- Stop! Here. No, Ashley, could you, could, would you mind giving me a good, goodbye kiss? Right on my cheek. Please, Ashley, this is all I have. We gotta thank Walt. We wouldn't be here without him. And there's God! <laughs> That's definitely the uh, creepiest possible way you could have said that. I spy Mickey. God, I've missed you. Jesus Christ, I've missed you so much, Mickey. Dude, there's no way my fat ass is fitting in any of these fucking roller coasters. Let's go, baby! This is so worth the three hour wait. Ah, ah. All right, it's over. Let's go. Let's get back in line for three hours. Dude, and it's going like two miles an hour because they're fucking kids' rides, dude. Go to fucking Six Flags, go on Nitro, and when you borderline black out on the loop to loop because that G force is so strong that your eyes start rolling behind your fucking head. You're going to be like, damn, bitch, I was on a fucking ride, right? I was on a fucking roller coaster. That shit was an experience. Or when you're on El Toro and that shit's made out of wood and it starts fucking, it starts going like this and you think you're going to fucking fall off or the fucking ride's going to break and you're going 75 miles an hour down a fucking wooden track. You're like, holy shit, this is exhilarating, right? My bro is struggling to get some words in for content. <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. What a sight. <laughs> Oh my god, what a spectacle, honestly. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this one, this one's a, this is a tougher one to sit through. Welcome Fucking, this looks boring as fuck, dude. Hello. Hello. This mic won't stay hey, still. Thank you. Jesus Christ, this whole experience is just so exhausting, dude. That's There's no way in hell, I don't think I'm going like, now. What? I don't think I got it in me. <laughs> so ass. <laughs> the exit. Got a ramp. <laughs> Alright, that was, that was a good, that was a good cut. <laughs> Here's the exit. Got a ramp for a wheelchair. All right, he, all right, he won me over. He won me over there. I got, I got one over. All right. I think, that, I think that's about the last one I can do though. Jesus Christ, dude. That first one was pretty funny though. I'm not gonna lie. The first one got me pretty good. I really wish that I had a uh, Henry Johnson fucking sponsorship so I could get a sweet hotel, dude. If I do end up going to Disney World, I'll be sure to let you guys know what day. So maybe you guys can also dress up like uh, Disney fanatics and we, I'll, I'll just film random people. I only want to go now just so I, just so to see if I can uh, embarrass the fuck out of Noel. Editorial note update. After recording this video and editing it, it so happened that I was going to LA for some work and I took one of those days after watching this video to go to Disneyland in Anaheim. I just wanted to put this out there real quick that I've, you know, I'm, I, I can admit when I'm wrong. Disneyland was very fun. Granted, the lines are very long. I did have to fucking donate plasma to afford the Genie Plus Pass to like really schedule what lines I needed to schedule. And then you have to schedule the rides. That's just what I hate, like the fast pass it like the whole thing it's like yeah it's on your phone or whatever but you have to like individually schedule things whereas like if you have a fast pass at six flags 
Like, you literally just input that shit the second you end on another ride, and it just, like, fast-forwards your wait time, right? But the fast pass, there's, like, a limited usage, and you only can have certain ones queued for certain times. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass.